Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe, click the bell, and click all to get all notifications. If you have any tech questions, please click the Discord link. Hello, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use Docker on Windows 10 Pro. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have Windows 10 Pro, and you can do that by going to My Computer, right-clicking on this, go to Properties. Um, I'll show you this screenshot real quick. You want to make sure at the bottom here it says Windows 10 Pro and you want to say at least OS build 19042 this is pretty new this way you'll have um, it's called what's called Hyper-V installed and be able to run virtual machines with this box so those are two prerequisites to have docker work with this okay so the next step is to go to docker.com and just do get started click download windows here and I already did this because it takes a significant amount of time so you download this installer and then you just follow all the prompts and go through all this and then your machine is gonna log you out I recommend you actually restart the machine and then you'll have a little docker icon here once it's started correctly and you'll also get a docker desktop desktop icon in the start menu here so you can click that and you can actually it should bring up the docker uh, GUI here and it'll show you how to uh, start your first container so let's try to run this so let's go to um, the Windows terminal here and we'll see if we have docker available here we do looks like it's fine and we can just paste this command and it's going to pull this down and then run that locally. So there it goes, it's pulling that down. You want to do allow access. Okay. And you can see here we passed at port 8080. And now we can see this is running here. The name of the container is Thirsty. This one. You can click it and get the logs here. And then you can also, I believe, open in browser. And this should work. So we'll do localhost 80. Oh, yeah. This is the tutorial. So, yeah. This is running locally here. So if you stop this container, so watch. We'll come over here, click stop. Now you come back here and refresh this, and it's no longer working. So yeah, this was powering this uh, website here. You can see it timed out in the back. Let's click start again. And now the container's running, and we can refresh this, and here you go. You have this tutorial running again. So that's how you can get Docker installed and running locally on this machine. Um, some of the recommended uh, Docker containers I use is MySQL, um, some caching services like Redis. Uh, also, what's really nice is if you want to do Python 3 um, Docker Hub, you can see the latest versions for Python 3 here. Um, so you can, like 3.10 Buster, so you can do this let's bring up the terminal docker run it python 3 and then the tag you want so buster rc and then we're going to run bin bash and then it'll pull down this image automatically um sorry this is not python 3 it's just python and this should work fine okay so it's going to pull down the, the latest version of Python 3 inside of a Docker container. No compiling from source, no weird installations, just the latest version of Python 3 in a Docker container within, you know, I would say a minute or two. It's pretty quick. It's really nice to have uh, stuff that stuff like this that's... You know, if you've ever compiled Python 3 from source, it takes a considerable amount of time to actually do that. And this way, you can get all this stuff 
immediately just download it inside of a Docker container. So let this finish and we'll have Python 3's latest version. Okay, it'll spit you out to the prompt here. And now if you type Python 3, you can see I have Python 3.10.0 beta 1. So this is still even the beta branch. So now if I brought up another prompt, you can see this is a different prompt here. And now if I type Python 3, this is the old one, Python 3.8.5. So that's how quickly you can have a even just a different version of Python here. And you can run any of these tags from the Docker Hub site. So all the way down. So if you need a specific version like 3.6, there's even like slim versions here that are probably even faster to download if you need stuff like this. Um, so let's do... That might not have bin bash on it. Let's see what this does. This might throw an error, but we can fix that quickly. We can see this one downloading up a lot faster than this other one because it was a slim one so it was a lot smaller and I can show you the sizes in a minute but you can see this one is exactly the version you wanted 3.6 and now you have 3.6.13 instead of 3.10 so you can check all these if you go all the way back here and then just do docker images and you'll show which ones we've downloaded so far so these are the two new ones I downloaded for Python RC Buster which is version 3.10 0.0 beta 1 and you can see that's 889 megabytes you can see how much smaller this python 3.6 slim is so is there uh is there slim versions for yeah there's slim versions for even rc so yeah you can do pull this one down and it'll be nice and small And you can see the new RC Slim, 115 megabytes, nice and small compared to this one. So that's a way to pull down different um, Docker images and install Docker on Windows 10. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Talk to you soon.